Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and dedicated dad. Taking you back with me on tour for this one. It's been a little while since I took you behind the scenes of the DJ life. But Denon hit us all with some amazing new gear and I'll need to show you the flagship setup in this vlog too. All and that and more in this week's vlog. Let's go. Out here at Newark, New Jersey airport, it's 7 a.m. It's quite early. Ashley just brought me to the airport. It's gonna be a six hour flight to San Diego today and why it's that early, I'll show you. So out here in San Diego, just got to my hotel room. It is still early, even after a six hour travel. And the reason why I wanted to land so early today, I'm gonna show you. It's right here in my carry-on. Here we go. Boxing gloves. Yep, yeah, I traveled out here with boxing gloves because over here there's a big hub for my style of Kung Fu, the Choi Li Fat Kung Fu. It's a white dragon martial arts schools that represent our style over here. And since I'm still a Kung Fu athlete and my teacher told me to work more on my Chinese kickboxing, I'm going to do some of that right here. Okay, so we're here at White Dragon La Mesa. Let me uh, introduce you to our uh, my Kung Fu uh, I guess cousins, right? Nephews, <laughs> nieces. This is Kayla, but you're from White Dragon. Mira Mesa. Mira Mesa. This is uh, Andrew. You gotta follow him on Instagram. Ton of motivation, uh, uh, and this guy is fit. He's gonna train us today. I am super excited. Let's go. Mind you, these two are uh, high-level teachers that teach around here, so this was an amazing session. The reason why I am wearing one of these is that I still need to look pretty for the wedding very soon and pretty for the show as well, coming up. But before we get into the show, let me give a quick shout out to the comments from last time's vlog, my five favorite Fader Tricks. NDR on the number two comment and DJ Mutsang on the number one comment. I appreciate you commenting. I always read through them. So feel free to give me a comment right now below. Next up in this vlog, a phone call with my tour manager back at the hotel. So I was talking to the artist handler. If you want to arrive 45 minutes before you set, nobody's going to be playing. Is they're just going to be doing like an award ceremony for the company? Okay, let's do a half hour before then. Um, I, I still want to arrive early for me to, to pee before before I play. And do you know what they expect uh, from me tonight to play? Yeah, they were talking about more of like a um, Vegas style, mainstream type of set. Thanks, Sammy. Yeah, man. Yeah, of course. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Yeah, so that's good to know. I'm here for a corporate event at Omnia tonight. Obviously, I am not coming in prepared, so I'll go with the flow. I am excited. And obviously, you're excited to see the new Denons. I'm not going to show it to you yet, but stay tuned. We're going to first go to my show out here in San Diego. Stop, we gon' make the thing go. Just getting back to the hotel here. Interesting corporate party. I heard uh, in the past they used to hire DJ AM, and so which uh, which figures I needed to play a lot of known stuff and a lot of poppy stuff i did uh i did enjoy that i must say next one up a busy weekend two shows on one day florida philadelphia and stay tuned though but because i still want to show you those awesome new denets 
Next up in this vlog is going to be some amazing drone footage, but the track under the footage is a new Mix Mash release. It's Lo, Soku and Sykes with their track, Leave Your Lover. Something I would never recommend, especially if you're calling them your lover still. But it's awesome vibes and the track is out right now. If you like it under the footage, make sure to check the link down below. Okay, out into the Florida sky right now. Here we go. to Hollywood, Florida. What an incredible hotel. And can you believe this was the first ever Hard Rock Hotel right here? And can you believe I have an outdoor shower as well? But we're not gonna stay outdoors. I'm actually gonna take you indoors right now because I know you've been anxiously waiting. Finally, the moment is here, my friends. I'm gonna show you the Denon SC6000. Obviously, that's not gonna be here. I'm just gonna put some last minute uh, tracks on my USB stick. But here's over to you, Luke, in our humble little New York apartment. Thank you, Luke. And so here we are with the flagship Denon Prime setup, the SC6000s right here and the X1850 mixer. So the first thing we notice about the screen is that it's huge. It's humongous. Actually, the screen is as big as the screen on a Denon Prime 4 console. And obviously the screen is fully touchscreen. We also have an enormous amount of real estate here. You can uh, scroll through tracks just as you would within your phone. And my first thought when I saw these players was, isn't the screen going to be too big and is it gonna be too big that you won't notice the crowd and seeing them on the setup seeing the way they're angled they're pretty flat but you can still look at the crowd straight ahead of you okay let's talk about the new sheer black design which i love all looks so sleek now i must say very fancy and stylish i love the black finish on the jog wheels as well it all looks much sleeker right now. And what I'm absolutely proud of is that something that I pushed through here is the rubber touch on the Q button and the play button now. So this is the same rubber feel that you have on the hot cues, which we had on the original players as well, but now they look much sleeker. But over here, a lot of DJs tap the Q button uh, usually, and I felt this would need to have a rubber feel so you can either play with it Like do some proper drumming on there or just when you're queuing up tracks it'll feel really nice the cue button is one of the most used buttons by djs all around okay so let's talk about the jog wheel the jog wheel feels absolutely amazing it's a bigger jog wheel they properly use the maximum amount they could reach on the player and i can honestly tell you that up until now this is the best jog wheel i've ever felt on a player. Overall a very silky and a direct feel and I can't wait to get these into clubs and to touch the music. Here we go and play with it. And then we have the mixer, the X1850. This is just a little bit of a facelift to match the new sleek and black design. And there's something I want you to see on here, a new effects added, which is the pumper. What the pumper does is a side chain effect. I wanted a effects on there that if you had a track and there's a lot of beats, you could turn the knob and instantly the kick drum would be cut out of there. Okay, so I'm just gonna play the drop on this track. The pumper is set to one right over here on the one and it's active right now. So I'm just gonna play the track and then activate the pumper and no kick drum. So you hear it's ducking now. Let's put the kick drum back in simply by turning it off. So that's a side chain effect taking the kick drum out and what I'm really excited about on this mixer as well is finally Finally, we have the three quarters setting on here as well. So half on the effects and the one here, obviously, this used to be from half to one, but now we got the three quarters 
back on air. Way to go, Denon, for listening to us. And there's more. There's inbuilt Wi-Fi. So literally here, open Wi-Fi settings. You see all the neighbors' Wi-Fi's right here. So currently you can stream from Tidal, but SoundCloud and Beatport have been announced and you know, the future, the future is right here in front of us. I can't even imagine like going onto my Dropbox or going onto some cloud account. You can also, instead of connecting to the Wi-Fi, obviously connect to your phone's 4G so you can have the data everywhere and it's incredible. This right here is DJ technology as it should be in 2020 and how exciting is that? I can't wait to play on these in the clubs. I'll obviously keep you posted over to you Luke. Thank you, Luke. Two shows this weekend though, and too bad I am not allowed to bring the SC6000 setup just yet. It's a strictly techno weekend. Tonight I'll be playing at Soundcheck in Washington DC. And on Saturday I'll be at New City Gas playing my techno at District in Montreal. Hope to see you there. And man, Denon has been announcing a lot of new gear. Amazing stuff, right? Please let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below. Denon and I are very curious to hear what you think about the SC6000. Also, the takeover of the Prime Tribe. The announce and the release of the Prime 2 DJ console. And then we have the Prime Go as well, which is a, a portable standalone a DJ console. Okay, so I've just been putting tracks on my uh, DJ USB here, getting ready for the show tonight, the two shows tonight. But I'm getting worried here as well. And what it's exactly about, I'll tell you after my show at Dare Day Club out here in Hollywood. Florida. I feel it tonight. I feel it, I feel it. I feel it tonight. I feel it tonight. Just came off stage. Um, I love playing for the crowd here. A lot of Miami crowd drove down. People I see during uh, Miami Winter Music Conference, so we had a good time at the pool. But a bit of panic broke out uh, just before I started my set. Uh, so our original uh, flight got how, how many hours of delay? Got three hour delay. This and we had like no time to play with. <laughs> yeah, so this was the American Airlines flight because we're supposed to land and then straight away go to the club. Uh, we won't be able to make that, but Sammy was scrambling during my set and now we found a Frontier flight. So we're doing two shows on one day and we're flying with Frontier. Frontier is an American budget airlines. How about that? Leave me, Bam. leave us a like right now. Keep you updated because this flight has a delay as well. It's just a snowstorm in Philadelphia currently. Uh, actually, this is some footage of Ashley driving out to Philadelphia to come pick me up tonight. So we'll keep you posted at the airport. Hopefully there's not more delays. Okay, so how are we looking, Sammy? So we're looking pretty good. Uh, our flight is still only seven minutes delayed. So we'll arrive uh, probably just in time to get there and start to set on time. Well, needless to say, I am super nervous that we're gonna miss this show. Actually, we still land at 11.30 while I'm on at midnight, so it'll be super, super tight. So this, all due to the snow in Philadelphia, almost missed my show. And if I didn't, then the next footage, I'm gonna take you into the show right now. <laughs> see I just made it out to the show Ashley drove down and I met her on the streets as I was walking into the club straight from the airport with about only 15 minutes until I needed to go on it does get crazy like that sometimes and I'm happy I could show you all of this in this vlog I have more gear for you in next time's vlog but first make sure to hit that subscribe button right now 
to not miss out. Next time, I'm taking this little drum computer with me for my techno sets. Now, this is not about real DJing, but about real producing on the fly. And I'll show you exactly what I do with it in my techno DJ sets in next time's vlog. Until then, L's up, rave safely, and salute.